Alright, so here's the multi-shot pneumatic launcher I've been working on for the past few weeks. Uh, here it is in its final state. This is just the um, launcher section. You can see it doesn't have a barrel here. Barrel goes into this quick connect hose fitting right here. Goes to the QEV, that's the main valve. Hooked onto the secondary chamber. That's, that's what holds the CO2 charge. This is directional control valve. It's a three-way valve, two position, cylinder actuated. And here's the air supply. Got two coax plugs here into the electronics box. This one here goes to the solenoid. You see this wire going over here. And then this one here is the power supply, 24 volts. And if you follow along the split limb all the way into this backpack here, you can see I got the 24 volt power supply. It's a blocking decker off of a string trimmer. And I've got the CO2 tank. It's a five pound tank with uh, that commercial regulator on there. And this is very handy because you can actually see pressure of the tank and pressure of the line. So I can go ahead and uh, turn this line on. You can see that's at about 15 psi, so I want to boost that up a little bit. Let's see. That should be good, 25 psi. And that goes through the split loom into here, into the quick connect. And to turn it on, the safety key toggles on, and you can hear that fills up right away. And then you just press this red button to fire and immediately fills back up again. And this is the multi-shot part of the launcher. You can shoot it as many times as you want, as fast as you want. The only problem is you're only limited by the way you load. And with the barrels I have here, this is what cook when I throw together. You see the male cam lock fitting there, and it goes through there. That's three quarter inch, um, scheduled 40 PVC. I use that for nerf darts, for plinking, just shooting around. I also have a uh, one and a half inch barrel for uh, potatoes, so I don't have that in view right now. And those just go in here. This is the locking fitting. A button on the bottom, you can hear that lock. And those are for quick and easy change out of the barrels. It's a really nice feature. But yeah, there it is. If you want more pressure, again, I can screw in this, this regulator down here, boost that up to about, uh, here's 40 psi. You can see that corresponding to here. And again, it's going to be a little bit louder with more power. You can hear that thing fill up right away. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I'll get some uh, damage pictures up here, and it's good to go.